Hello, ridiculously happy people. Today's video is with Ali Record from Hair, Body and Soul in Owen Sound. Ali is a fantastic hairstylist and she's really good at educating everyone who sits in her chair on how to take care of their hair. Um, I really hope that you learn a lot from her on preparing your hair specifically for your wedding. Hi, I'm Ali Record. I am a hairstylist at Hair, Body and Soul in Owen Sound. I've been working there for four years and hairstyling for six. I think one of the biggest mistakes brides make is booking their services, their hair, uh, a year in advance. Really, you just need to come in two months tops, um, three weeks is plenty of time to come in for your trial and talk to your professional about getting yourself ready for your big day. Be realistic when choosing your hairstyle. Um, look at your dress, look how it falls on you. If you have straps, if you're strapless, if you have a neck choker, if your dress like cuts in the middle, um, Pinterest is great. Like look at different styles. They are uploading all the time, different ways to wear your hair. Understand that not every style works for everybody. Just be mindful for what is gonna work with the style of your wedding, the style of your dress, what goes with your face. Um, and know that if you've picked Elsa's beautiful long braid, she has gobs of hair and not everybody can pull that style off. There's no need to grow your hair long for your wedding. Um, a decent size like mine is uh, great. I had a sort of French sort of twist on my wedding day and you wouldn't know, but I had quite a bit of back combing put in my hair and uh, Jen, my stylist, was able to make it look like I had 10 times the amount of hair. If you're looking at the photo and you think, I wonder if my hair can do that, maybe discuss it with your professional um, hairstylist and they can sort of steer you in the right direction of how you should be wearing your hair on your wedding day. Come with all of your accessories for your hair, your earrings, if you've got a necklace, if you've got something special that is supposed to be in your hair on your wedding day, make sure you bring it. Um, because the trial is, you know, it's that time where I get to know you and you get to know me. And we kind of get to make a style for you that suits you and goes with the theme of your wedding. Please try to avoid washing your hair the day of, as tempting as it can be. Um, I've found some really great dry shampoos. There's one by Living Proof that I am addicted to right now that really does make you feel fresh and rejuvenated even if you haven't washed your hair that day. I can't stress enough. Do not get your hair done the day before your wedding. Um, ideally, three weeks is like the cutoff point, two weeks even. Um, you don't wanna change your style a week before your wedding. So I'm usually always on the blonde side. I wouldn't go and become a ginger tomorrow if I was getting married next week. Leading up, talk to your professional. Um, when you do have that trim three weeks in advance to your wedding, um, your professional will let you um, know what products will work well for your hair, um, shine products, smoothing. You don't want anything too heavy. You wanna keep your hair very healthy looking. It'll look much better in photos. You don't wanna look frizzy. Um, there's tons of leave-in products that you can use before you dry your hair. There's, if you're more of a wash and wear, I would go for maybe more of a softer oil. Um, and just really a lot of pre-treatments that are going to make your hair look beautiful on your wedding day. Um, it is best to wash and style your hair as directed by your professional the night before the wedding. Um, there are some really beautiful shine glazes that you can get put on your hair that will just help with the condition and make that hair really manageable for the professional on your wedding day. Um, the professional will also use um, some prepping products for when they are doing your hair. So coming in with it 
one day dirty, um, not to worry because we will fluff the hair and make it really nice. I don't personally have a memorable disaster story because I had a fantastic photographer on my wedding day, um, Sophia Levin. But I have gotten some little stories here and there uh, from friends. And one disaster story was when she was younger, um, her mom had tied her hair up into a really tight ponytail. Um, and so they got their family photos done. And after, with friends and family looking at their photos, everybody was asking um, who the little boy was. Remember that you love everybody that you've asked to participate in your wedding. Um, not everybody has the same hair texture, the same style of hair, the same length, the same color. Everybody has their own individual styles. Don't expect all of their hair to do the side pony with the curls or to all have the Elsa French braid or to um, go in one specific way. Some people have very curly hair, some people have very straight hair, fine, thick medium some hair can just do anything you possibly do to their hair and it's beautiful um, and whereas some people have hair that needs a little bit of extra styling with products smoothing um, so just be mindful that each bridesmaid or individual is going to have their own specific look on your wedding day I'm a hairstylist at Hair, Body & Soul. Our location is 412 10th Street West, Owen Sound. We are a nice old home and you can't miss us going up West Hill. Our phone number at Hair, Body & Soul is 519-376-4201 and you can speak with Jessica, Kim or Harley. Our email address is info at hairbodysoul.ca. Well, that's it for today. I hope Ali's tips will help you go into your hair trials and styling on your wedding day confidently. If you haven't picked up your copy of the Picture Perfect Guide yet, you can do so at pictureperfect.guide. It includes some of Ali's tips and it also has instructions on preparing for your photo shoot um, in the months leading up to it. Uh, if you'd like to get a hold of me, you can do so at sophialemon.com. And that's it for today, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.